No mai hairi mai kita awatea, kia wa koto, ko Jane toku ingawa. Welcome to my update about the awatea team. That's the foundation class in year one team. At the moment, three kayako make up our team and an always growing number of tamariki. There are currently 62. Keila Alamau teaches in room five. She joined us last year having moved over from Australia and is the rep for the resilience project for our year group. Tyler Renner teaches in room eight. She is in her third year of teaching and is the basketball coordinator for the school. Then there is myself, Jane Pearson, currently team leader for our tier. I'm in my 26th year of teaching and the 13th in New Zealand. I am also an Enviro schools um, leader and I run an Enviro and Lego club at lunch times. Building positive relationships with our children and their families, their whānau, is really important during the early stages of school life. We do this in many ways, through sending out a slideshow, informing them of all the general information that they, they need as a child starts school, but also regular um, newsletters, emails and communication through Seesaw. Term 1 brings many highlights, one of them being our scooter training session that was run by Auckland Council. The training aims to develop the children's confidence and road safety knowledge while riding a scooter and of course the children had lots of fun. Our tea's teddy bear picnic is a huge hit with the children. It is a day when the children are building relationships and getting to know each other and the different teachers in the team. It's a great team building um, day. We have great fun doing scavenger hunts, playing with parachutes, doing circle and dancing games and building dens for our teddy bears. And of course, we have a lovely picnic and enjoy an ice block treat. Developing early literacy and reading skills is a key part to our teaching. We do this in many ways, from small group work to independent work or even whole class teaching. We also do it through games, big books, poems, using iPads and different apps to help us, visiting the library, all these are strategies that we use to encourage the children to be lifelong readers. The teaching of phonics and phonemic awareness is a major element of our reading and writing programmes. We follow the Jolly Phonics programme and progression, but also supplement it with a wide range of other resources. Writing in our tier takes many shapes and forms, from handwriting and letter formation to story writing. Our learning through play experiences are often used as a stimuli for our writing. Each child has a writing goal and this is identified on their goal bookmark and at the top of their writing page. This is used to help them focus on a particular aspect of writing. Together each child and the teacher colour codes their work where they have met their goal so they know where they are being successful and what they need to work on. Maths is taught in practical and fun ways, using games and materials as much as possible, making it engaging for the children. This is how we teach number and strand maths. And we teach maths in whole class um, groupings, differentiated maths groups and individual maths support and extension work. The children in our tier are exposed to lots of cool science. The children love putting on their imaginary scientist goggles and lab coats to become scientists. Through our science teaching, the children learn about what a science scientist does. They pose a question, form a hypothesis, test their hypothesis, record their observations and make a conclusion. And we teach science in many ways that are fun and engaging. Learning through play is an incredibly busy time but fun time in our classrooms. The children are engaged, challenged, focused. They're working in teams or independently or in small groups. They are also developing all of their key competencies whilst playing. This term we all have an animal theme for our, one of our zones. We have a zoo, a vet, an aquarium. We also have areas such as bebots for programming, creative areas, construction areas, transport, castles, to name but a few. In our tea, the children are constantly developing their key competencies. Managing self is a major aspect of starting school and we foster independent skills. Learning through play provides fantastic opportunities to develop and teach all of the key competencies. For example, developing thinking skills when providing challenges and problem solving and to promote relating to others' skills when they are sharing and working as a team. In PE, during Term 1, we focus on developing water safety and confidence. We use NZ Swim Safe to teach specific skills. We also focus on developing our fundamental movement and motor skills through games. In Term 2, we focus on ball skills, particularly throwing and catching and kicking. This year, we're using the Tapuna course to support our Toreo teaching. 
During Term 1, teachers and children worked on developing and learning their pepeha. This was fun, yet challenging for some of the Year 1 children and teachers, but they readily took up the challenge. Not only is Tere Omari taught in specific lessons, but it is also embedded into much of the school day. For example, through Forest Hill School TV, Wayatas, instructions, greetings, counting, colours, our feelings and in our assemblies. Starting school can present our little Tamariki with many new challenges and experiences. Catering for their well-being is an important part of what we do, and to do this we use the Resilience Project focusing on gratitude, empathy, mindfulness and emotional literacy. To supplement our learning and well-being, our tea also use many stories such as, such as the colour monster to help us identify our feelings throughout the day. A different aspect of visual arts is focused on each term, from painting, printing, drawing and fabric. However, the visual arts also play a huge role in all the learning through play zones that we have. The Enviro School's principles are promoted throughout the year. The children in our tier learn about walking to school and scootering. We also learn about rubbish and using the different bins and where to put it. This leads us nicely on to sustainability and empowering students in our junk modelling zones by recycling and reusing. We also carry out environmental projects such as improving the Anzac Memorial Garden by painting poppy rocks or by making a bug hotel. Looking at our Tamariki, 31 of our 58 children were ESOL funded children in our tier. That was during term one. ESOL children in our tier are supported within the classroom by Rosa and the class teacher. Rosa works with small groups developing their spoken language, vocab, comprehension as well as their written language. As well as catering for the needs of children with English as a second language, over the last few years the junior school has been faced with catering for children with high needs and the challenges this creates. Every class in the junior school has a child with high needs in their class currently. As a team we are looking forward to receive an additional PD in this area so that we can best meet the needs of these children. The sensory room is a wonderful addition to our school to help support these children in our classrooms. As teachers, this year we are working collaboratively to produce more shared planning in a wider range of curriculum areas. We are using the shared team Google Drive and planning documents to devise shared plans where appropriate. Currently our focus is on developing plans for science and the math strands. So, looking ahead, what are we looking forward to? Well, we're looking forward to continue to develop our collaborative planning approach and to undertake further PD on autism to support the needs of our children. There will be more Terea integrated into other curriculum areas and across the school day. We have a whole school assembly sped by the Our Tier team in Terms 3 and 4 to look forward to and also our newsletter contributions as well as our Forest Hill School TV contributions. Thank you for your time and I look forward to answering any questions you may have. Kia ora.